Have you ever dreamt of chilling with the king of the jungle, kissing a cheetah, hanging out with a bear or walking a tiger? Well, yalla habibi, you have to come to Dubai. Hi! What happened? But on this episode of The Good Life, I am exploring the Al Bukesh jungle where you get to be up close and personal with all of these wild animals that you can think of. And I am very eager to find out how humans are allowed to be so close to these animals, how the managers are maintaining this place and all the insights. So let's go. Whoa! Welcome to the Al Bukesh private zoo nestled in the serene landscape of Omal Quim. And spanning an impressive 16,000 square feet, this private zoo was made by the Sheikh of Sharjah and is currently operated by two brothers. Now, more than just a zoo, Al Bukesh is a thriving jungle, offering a sanctuary of diverse array of species, offering an unforgettable opportunity to see the animals as you would have never seen them before, an experience almost unique in the world. While well, here, every animal enjoys a safe, comfortable, and stress free environment, essential for their well being. So we got in touch with one of their brothers who gave us all the insights about the jungle. I opened this place uh, in 2019, okay. December. I managed this place only with love. It was only with one animal after in 2019. Because okay. in 2018 in Dubai, they make law. It's not allowed anymore to have an uh, animal. Okay. So all the particular people they give the animals. So until 2018 in UAE, owning wild animals and having them as pets as home was allowed until the law changed. And that's where Mr. Noor comes into the picture. What was the main idea? Was it actually uh, love for animals or was it uh, that you had to rescue them? Yes, I make this. As you say before, you see too much video in Instagram and too, but the priority it's the people don't know, but they need to know it's because I rescue the animal. We rescue all the animals you will see. 70% it's animal rescue from people. They was at home and uh, we do that only for give them better than what they have. They deserve this. So it's not a circus other place you can see uh, they play with animal. No, here we love animal and we rescue the animal and we give the best for the animal. Who are these people who owned uh, such wild animals? It's people like you and me. They make gifts for the wife, for friends, for this. And after a few months, they are tired, so it's okay. Wow, that is so interesting. I haven't heard anything like this before where you're actually having wild animals as pets and you're gifting it to them. So it's definitely an interesting concept. But what was the challenge that you faced at that point of time to make this a rescue shelter? The challenge is to give them better than what they have. I think I give them better than if they will be die. And did these animals actually live in a in their natural habitat before? No, the animal they born in captivity. Okay. So they don't know the wildlife, the real wildlife, they don't know. They know the human, they born in captivity since they born, so for them it's normal. They would not be able to survive in like a jungle. No way. No way. Okay. I don't give them more than one hour. Interesting. And how many animals are there total? Approximately 85, 90. Which is a mix of wild animals. A mix of wild animals, reptile, crocodile, snake, bear, all the animals. Okay, wow. Can we go have a look at these animals? Bismillah, let's go. Let's go. This is literally living life king size, walking with a tiger around this, this jungle. This is the normal life. Yeah. It's like this. She passed, she's tiger, she looked the lion, it's normal. Wow, look at these crocodiles. I have never ever seen so many wild animals roaming around so freely just like that. Well, this is not just a private zoo, but I feel like it's a jungle in its own self. imagine being so close to the Simba. Oh. 
Wow, I just had a jaguar just cross by me. Well, it's a very important point to be noted that all of these animals are kept in very, very safe conditions. They have never been previously exposed to the wildlife or their natural habitat. In fact, all of these animals have been rescued from their pet owners who were otherwise going to abandon them. Because of the excessive heat in UAE, is it a problem for these animals here? The weather? Yeah. No, this no? animal they are ready for the hot place. Okay. All animal it's making it's made for a cold place. It can go to the hot place. Okay. The inverse is not possible. For example, if you want to send some lion in Alaska, it's not working. Wow. So here you have some wallaby. You have two black wallaby. The white one they live only in captivity. Okay. You see their eyes, they are red. This one it's calling Mara. Mara? Mara. It's a rabbit from Patagonia. Wow, I've never seen such a big rabbit you see before. This big rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> crocodile. <gasps> crocodile, tiger, cheetah, bear, lioness, you name it, and all the animals are here. And now we have Kiki. Okay. It's the mascot of the zoo. He come and he take all the all the stuff for him. How is a tiger over here versus a tiger in a jungle different? Mine, he play more. The animal in the wild, they need to hunt, they need to take care, they need to survive. It's very difficult for them because they have predator for them. So in the wild, we are unsafe amidst all of these animals, be it your lion, lioness, tigers. But how safe are we here with these animals? Because here they're born in captivity. So they get used with the human, with the they know how they are, they know they are safe with us, so they trust us. This is it's grizzly bear. He don't eat the human. Okay, I'm just going to go feed Bhalu now. Okay, come here. Come, you give him like this. Like this. Balu. Oh, he doesn't want to eat from me now. Balu! Balu! Yeah. How old is he? He has five years. Five years this old? He's such a big boy. I will show you something I think you, you never see that before. What? You know what is piranha? Piranha, yeah. Come. Oh my god. I will show you some piranha. I think you never see that before. Wow. Okay? Welcome to the snake room. The snake room? Yes, snake room. Wow, how many different types of reptiles are there? We have one, two, three, six, and I wait eight more. My this God. is piranha. Deadly. You see? Yeah. This, it's fresh chicken. I've heard piranhas can chew up an entire human body also. Yeah. Yeah. They do this one video like this with one uh, co. They put one co with 1,000 piranha, they eat everything. Oh my God, that's deadly. Oh, I'm scared. No, no, no. Don't scare me. Oh my god. I'm scared. Oh you know? my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, I've never. This is very scary. But it's too much beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful and it's so long. Look. Look here. Look. Look the color. Yeah. You see some blue? Yeah. Okay, no, 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 no. Now you cannot go. Pass. Now it's finished. So look. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm too scared, I can't. I want to show you how beautiful it is. Look how it's beautiful. You see some reflect blue, green, purple. It's uh, like a rainbow. It's amazing. You see, he feels comfortable. What is what is it called again? This one? This one it's boa. Boa, boa. constructor. Boa. He can bite, but he don't kill by bite. He kill by struggle. So he can bite me? Yes. Oh no. Can. But he prefer to kiss. You want? <laughs> no, no. I think I need a thousand and more points for my bravery. Okay. No no I don't want to kiss. Go, go, go. <laughs> Perfect. I'm so scared, I'm so Perfect. scared. Oh mama! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. 
Let your head look up, which is... Okay! Yeah. No, 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 done, done, done. Okay, okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's okay. Oh, oh my God. Like this, when he make this, he told you, I accept you. <laughs> and now you can touch his head. I just got accepted by the cheetah. Even if he makes style, he bite, he don't bite, huh? don't scare. I think the cheetah really likes me. He loves you. Come here. <laughs> see? Come on. Wow. That's it. Hi! See? What happened? <laughs> now he wants to play with you. You want to play with me? Come! Come! Playing with the cheetah. Come here! Come here! Woo! <laughs> so what food do all of these animals eat? Only fresh meat. Okay. The feeling like uh, tiger, lion, jaguar, leopard. They eat only fresh meat. And how many tons of meat is that is required for all these animals? All this animal, it's approximately 1.5 to 2 ton every week. What about a giraffe? Giraffe don't eat fresh meat. Giraffe, they eat, she eat only jet, carrots, pellet, uh, biscuit, vitamin, but no fresh meat. I'm very eager to meet Kiki. Oh. I know she's your pet. Can we go meet her? Big boy. Well, saving the best for the last, I am meeting the star boy of the jungle, which is Kiki. He's a two year old cute little chimpanzee and he's absolutely adorable. And as you can see, I've had a great time hanging out with all of these wild animals here. If you too want to visit this place, go ahead and visit the Al Bukesh website. The pricing for this comes up to 1000 dirhams for an adult and 500 dirhams for children. I hope you liked watching this video and do follow Curly Tales Middle East for more such updates. Bye! Say bye! Say bye! bye. <laughs>